Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some useful accessories you need if you're a MacBook owner, especially if you own the 2016 MacBook Pro or newer. Now, let's get to it. Now, the first on the list is something I feel like every MacBook Pro owner, especially 2016 and newer, should own. This is a simple USB Type C to Type A OTG adapter, and if you don't own this, well, I don't know how you survive. So here's what it looks like and it costs about $10 for the pack of two. I like it because it has some weight to it, like it's not light and most times when something is well heavy, it's good most times, not all the time. It also copies data really fast, more than 100 megabytes per second from a regular hard drive. So it's really good, um, especially compared to this thing I have here. I don't know what this thing is, but it's pretty, pretty bad. It copies like two, three times faster than this. So make sure you get something decent and i recommend this one from syntec now the next item is a sandisk ultra 64 gigabytes and this is the flash drive you need to buy if you have a macbook pro and it's special because it has both type c retractable connector and type a retractable connector so if you have this thing in your pocket you'll be able to copy anything from anywhere except like maybe the cia or something <laughs> but yeah it's really really good and i've tried it out um read speeds up to 150 megabytes per second this costs around 14 dollars and i mean i cannot even say how useful this can be if you have a macbook pro with only type c drives now our next item is this type c hub from oki and as you can see type c to four port usb 3.0 hub it basically changes one of your type c ports into four usb 3 type a ports so this is what it looks like i love anything from oki or anka they make really nice accessories and really nice products so as you can see here we have three usb 3.0 ports here and we have one usb 3.0 port so four usb 3.0 ports i've also tested this i tried a flash drive i think it had two gig flash and it was copying at over 100 megabytes per second so really good i really recommend this and costs only around 11 dollars Obviously, using a MacBook Pro is all about dongles, dongles, dongles. Welcome to the dongle life. And this right here is a Type-C multifunctional hub, which means that you have different ports on it. So here's what it looks like. It looks pretty similar to the Oki one we just saw now. However, this one has two USB 3.0 ports, an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, and we have a HDMI port. I have tested this. I tried out the HDMI ports. I was able to run 4K at I think 30 frames per second and um, 1080p at 60 frames on my LG monitor right in front of me here. I tested out the SD card slot. I was not really impressed with the speeds I got. However, it's an SD card, so I don't know. I guess you're not copying a lot of data. It will work for what it has to do, but I think it could be faster. It costs only $23 to be fair, so I guess it's doing the job i paid for you can get better ones but probably at double the price however i am quite happy with this one even though well either way it's decent finally an item that is not a dongle <laughs> this is a runnet new sleeve and i feel like sleeves are quite important if you have a macbook they're just easier for you to carry your macbook around in and this one is for the 16 inch macbook pro as of course that's the one i have and on the other side you have a space of course where you can fit in your macbook charger and you know some other well and all our dongles will go in here also obviously so it looks really nice let's just open that up as you can see the interior is dotted for maximum pleasure <laughs> it has some foams in there to cuddle your laptop to really cuddle your laptop well since you paid a lot for it i guess it might as well feel special you zip up and you know pick up your bag you're ready to go next up is a thin case from mosimo warning this bag is not a toy don't play with it no matter how you're tempted so here's what it looks like it's plain black ish kenya baris and oh this one actually comes with a keyboard cover so which is nice to see so here it is on my macbook i love that matte finish um, fairly easy to install and yeah open it up we have the keyboard cover installed also as you can see mosimo right there i like it it's thin and it doesn't add bulk to your computer not really taking it off was really easy also you just have to get those clips by the sides 
up and down and you're good. Last but not the least, we have this rugged protective case from iBlasson, I think. And let's check it out. So here it is, I've taken it out of the box and there's a thank you note here. It says, thanks for being awesome. Oh, this one also comes with the keyboard cover, which is nice. Really nice to see them add this. This one costs $6 and the one from Mosimo, I forgot to mention, costs $15, so more than double. I really like the honeycomb designs on the inside. I hope it's not just for aesthetics. I hope it actually helps to distribute heat because I don't see how this is going to help under the computer. But let's try it out. Installation of this case was easy, even easier than the thin one, surprisingly. I think this one has more clips around and clicking it in is so satisfying. Ah, oh, I enjoyed that one. Uh, anyways, this looks like an absolute monstrosity of a case. It looks really protective and opening it will take some getting used to, but it's quite easy. I've also put their keyboard protector they added and you know, forget about aesthetics of this computer right now. Like that is gone. You don't have that slim, thin MacBook feel anymore, but I guess that's the point of this case. It's rugged and if you want your computer to last forever i guess even with drops and all that you need to get something like this because i don't see anything happening to this thing if it drops if you like it link is in the description so anyways guys that's been the video i hope you enjoyed it one way or the other even more importantly i hope you saw something you liked or something that helped you or at least you learned something new either way thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you loved it please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye